run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we have a bumper sales update. So this is going to be from the last couple of weeks. I didn't do a sales update last Friday. As many of you are aware, I record my sales updates normally every Friday. Um, but last week, I just didn't do it for whatever reason. So basically this week, I've got kind of a, a larger sales update for you. But I know a lot of people like these longer ones. So every now and then, I do try and do one. So with that being said, let's get on with it and let me share with you the first item which is this vintage central court old bailey framed engraving this was from the engravings job that i got a while back got about 11 12 engravings for 10 pound plus commission at the auction house so almost at about a pound each and I'm now in profit on this lot. I've actually sold a few of these engravings now. Um, and this one went for $24.99 plus my postage. So after postage and fees and all that sort of cost, um, it's going to be pure profit. So pretty happy with that one there. So that is the first item. Next we've got this uh, vintage wooden and metal Chinese style. It's got like this little dragon motif uh, jewellery trinket box. Really nice looking uh, dragon on there. It's actually a little fun fact for you. The dragon, the Chinese dragon, represents kind of vitality and life force. Whereas dragons in other different myths in sort of western myths uh, that represents kind of like a beast something to be defeated so it's quite interesting i'm actually i'm try. I, I want to actually learn more a little bit more about mythology and things like that um so i'm trying to research into that and stuff and it's interesting um and it's actually interesting to note that there's different kind of kind of ideas with the same kind of basis so obviously we've got the same basis of the dragon but we've got two different ideas or two different representations of what they mean in the different cultures but mainly the majority of the world obviously a dragon represents a beast something that's to be defeated in in a myth um but it's interesting that that in Chinese culture, it's not represented in that way. So yeah, um, so 19.99 on that one. You get you get a few little fun facts with me as well. 19.99 uh, on that one plus my postage. Probably cost me a couple of quid in a job lot if I broke it down as an individual cost. Not a lot at all. Um, and yeah, I didn't really know what price is at to be honest. I just thought I'm just gonna whack this on and uh, we'll see what it gets really. So yeah, that's that one there. 19.99 plus my postage. Uh, next, we've got this vintage wooden flal. Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Flander mouse. Flander, not flander mouse. Flander wow. Oh no, I oh, know I can't pronounce it. I know how it should sound, but I just can't say it. Oh, oh well. Um, anyway, it's like a little themed music box, and it plays music, and it's really really nice. Uh, it's all working and everything. And it's a wind-up one. You can see there's a little wind-up thing there. Um, and I had it on for... twenty. Oh, yeah, it says here, twenty nine ninety nine. But I accepted a quite a low offer, actually, of 23 quid. I'd had it on for quite a while. And I was happy just to let it go. I can't remember. I think I did get this from an auction. But I, something sane in my mind. I might have got it from a charity shop. But I think it was an auction. Again, if it's from an auction, it's not going to owe me a lot. Two or three quid at maximum. If it was from a charity shop, maybe I would have paid a slight bit more for it. But I have a, I have a strong feeling it was from an auction. But there's something in the back of my mind saying it might have been from a charity shop. But even so, still a good profit on that. Whatever your class has kind of cost as. And uh, yeah, nice little item. Uh, and I like getting these little uh, music boxes. They're quite nice. And you can get some really, really nice ones. I've never had uh, had any of the real high-value ones. but uh, Because they're, and they're really, really nice. Especially some of them. They're just so ornate and just so beautiful. But even some of the you know, not-as-valuable ones still can be really, really nice. And, it, it, and it, yeah, I just, I just think they're really cool little items, music boxes. So, yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this uh, Mason's Regency pattern. It's a shame that this Regency pattern wasn't worth as much. I thought it might have been worth a little bit more. Obviously, certain Mason's items can be can be quite valuable, or they once were anyway. Nowadays, a lot, a lot of the Mason stuff is kind of... 
a bit more standard, but there are still pieces that'll do well. Um, so yeah, this is the Regency pattern. And these are like shallow bowls, also almost like kind of uh, shallow. You know, you get those shallow soup bowls, something like that. Um, and yeah, I got twenty four ninety nine plus my postage for that set of five there. So not too bad, you know, still a bit of money in them, but just not as much as as other patterns, obviously. So yeah. Uh, 24 99 plus my postage on those again just again from an auction job lot probably for the set there i might look i might be looking at about three or four quid something like that as a cost so still pretty decent into the 24 99 can't complain there next we've got his vintage staffordshire small flat back figurine of Lo uh, did i put lord nel oh yeah yeah he's lord nelson i thought i'd put that wrong then but because i was thinking it was napoleon but no, I think, I, did I say Napoleon in the, in the whole video? Maybe I said Napoleon in the whole video and I was wrong, but anyway. Uh, yeah, Lord Nelson, this one. 9.95 plus my postage. I got this in my car boot haul, one of my most recent car boot hauls, and I got it for two quid, and I was umming and ahhing whether to pick it up. I thought, mm, probably not going to be a lot of money, but I put it, put it on for 10 quid plus my postage. I'm still happy with that, two quid into, you know, 10 pound plus postage. There's going to be five or six quid profit in that net, so I'm pretty happy with that. Nice little sale there. Um, and it went pretty quick, actually. It didn't hang around for too long. Uh, I didn't undersell it or anything. That's kind of just the going weight. Uh, obviously, if you get bigger ones, then they're going to be a bit more money. Maybe get about 20 quid for them, maybe. Maybe a little bit more, but probably not a lot more than that. So, yeah, that's kind of a going weight, but I was happy that it went pretty quick. Next, we've got something from that famous newspaper job lot I got. Basically, 400 quid's worth of newspapers um, for £10 plus commission at the auction. And they've been just selling through very, very consistently, actually. I'm getting, you know, get a sale a week, something like that, a couple of sales a week sometimes. And I'm happy with that, just them going out at that rate. And most of them now that are left are just a 10 or 15 quid. Uh, I did have a, a handful of 30 or 40 quid ones or 20 to 40 quid kind of thing. And that most of them have gone pretty much. So this one was the Illustrated London News Silver Jubilee record number to 1910 to 1935. Uh, yeah, and 17.99 for that. So can't complain there. It's quite a big book actually this um, and quite heavy. Um, but yeah, 17.99 for that. Can't complain there. Pure profit after postage and fees. Obviously, I've done free postage on this one, and the postage is going to be pretty hefty, so it's not going to leave me with tons of profit or anything. But that amount of profit that is left will just add to the profit total of that job lot, basically. And yeah, it's looking really, really good with that job lot. There's, uh, there was a lot of good stuff in it, and uh, yeah, it made me quite a bit of money. Next, we've got these Once Upon a Time Vintage Children's Magazines. I should have put Disney in the title there. I don't know why I didn't put Disney, but that explains why it didn't sell very fast. Um, you gotta be, you got to be on it with your titles. And, you know, sometimes, for a majority of the time, I practice what I preach with my titles. I always say, pack them out. Make sure you've got loads of keywords in there. And the majority of the time, I practice that. Sometimes, I don't. And this is one of these times where I don't. But we, I'm pretty sure... We, oh, no, maybe we weren't Disney. I think we were Disney. I thought we were Disney, though. Oh, maybe maybe, I'll, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm doubting myself too early. I thought we were Disney, but maybe maybe we're not. Eh. Anyway, I don't know. But 1322 there, plus my postage. Um, and these are pure profit after posting fees. I got these in a huge job lot of the ephemera and magazines and newspapers and all the rest of it. A separate job lot from the one I just talked about. Um, but these are now uh, pure profit after posting fees. I got that job lot for about... Five pound or ten pound plus commission. It was at the auction house that I was previously going to, but quite cheap one. Um, and yeah, so pretty awesome, nice little sale there. But yeah, I think I might have doubted myself too early on that. I don't know whether they are Disney or not, so I'll let myself off on that one for not putting Disney. Um, next, we've got this vintage Ward Lock and Co. motoring and touring map of Cornwall. Nine ninety five for this one, free post here. Just a nice little map. Obviously, this will go, or it did actually go, uh, a large letter. So a nice little large letter job. So I'm not paying me. £2.90 or whatever it is, uh, Royal Mail, second class, small parcel. So yeah, nice little item there. Got this in a huge job lot of maps and stuff. I can't remember the price I paid. It was either 10 or 15 quid plus commission. It wasn't more than 15 quid plus commission. Uh, and I got tons of maps in there. So it was an individual cost. Probably owes me between 20 and 50 pence, something like that. Probably closer to the 50 pence, uh, but not much really so. Let's say around 50 pence into 10 quid, 
happy with that. I'll do that all day long. So yeah, nice little uh, map there. Can't complain with that one. Next, we've got this classic, classic vintage Kaplunk game, complete 1986, 9.95 plus my postage. I think this did go for a little bit more. I think it used to go for about 14.99, something like that. But Maybe when I was doing my research, I obviously must have seen that the price wasn't commanding that or wasn't commanding as much. Um, and I obviously ended up putting it on for 9.95. It didn't go very quickly. I mean, it took a few weeks or maybe a month or so to go. So obviously, I didn't undersell it or anything in that circumstance. So yeah, maybe this is just coming down a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, or it might not be this version that once did 14.99. Maybe it was another version. Um, but yeah, 9.95 on that one. I can't remember where I got this from. I'm guessing it was a charity shop, and if it was a charity shop, it would have been two or three quid, something like that. Um, but I honestly can't remember where this came from. So, oh no, actually, it might have been. I got a, a board game job like ages ago, and I didn't process it for quite a while. It was just staying in my lockup. This might have been in my auction board game job lot, and if so, it would have cost me around the same price as oh. Wait, what's this? Oh, Photoshop's popping up. Uh, sorry about that. So, basically, um, this would have cost me about uh, two or three pound either way, even if it was in the auction job lot or it was in the charity shop job lot. So, no matter, no matter what way you look at it, it's the same sort of individual cost to me. Next, we've got this Tilly Endurable Endurables winter hat. Now, of course, I picked this up from the car boot for four quid. I mentioned in the whole video how... You know, when I pick up certain hats, I know the quality, and I picked up this one, I knew it was quality, lovely little Tilly hat, I love picking up these Tilly hats, I've only ever had them twice, but I do try and find them, and I, I really love it when I find them, and I want to find another one. Um, now, I, I had this up for 38 quid, someone messaged me saying, would you accept 30 quid? And, you know, for whatever reason, I said, yeah, I'll accept 30 quid. Now... Maybe normally I wouldn't do that, but you know what What kind of went through my brain? It's kind of like, I've done this quite a lot actually, where basically something, uh, I've got an offer for something in the past, and I brushed it off because I thought, oh, it's a little bit low for me, I'm not going to entertain it. And then that item's just sat there for like two months, or a month or whatever, maybe even longer than that. But then I'm thinking, why the hell didn't I just accept that offer and then get my cash flow in, get my money in, get my profit in, and, and just move on and buy other things. So that's what I thought about with this one. I thought, bugger it. You know what? Yeah, it might be just a touch low, but 30 quid from 4 quid, I'm happy with that. That's a really decent profit. I can use that money, uh, especially with it being slow at the moment or when it was really, really slow back uh, a few, uh, like a week ago or whatever. Uh, I thought I can use that money and then I can invest that in other things and maybe I can invest it in other things that sell even quicker as well. So I thought, bugger it, I'll accept that 30 quid. Someone gets a nice little bargain as well. Um, so four quid into 30 quid, I'm happy with that. Lovely little hats these are. If you find these Tilly hats, you will know immediately with these hats. Or, you know, if, you, if, if you've got any discernment with quality, you know, if you can recognize quality, then uh, you will know straight away that these are quality and, and, and that it's a Tilly hat that you're handling, basically. And no doubt when you turn it over, you'll, you'll see that Tilly logo. Um, and yeah, just pick them up. Because even if you're paying four or five quid for these, the majority of them are in that 30, 40 quid range. There's probably going to be more that are, that are over that as well. I've not done too much research into them, but there's probably going to be more that are, that are actually higher than that as well. So, yeah, uh, really, really nice little hat there. Obviously, you've got to be careful of the sizes. You want to get decent sizes. If they're really, really small, then that might harm the price that you can get or... You know, it might harm the how fast they're going to sell because, pe you know, most people have, I wouldn't say most people have large heads, but most people have, you know, medium to large size heads. So, you know, if you're getting like a really, really small size, it's not going to be as saleable. So just think about that as well. Uh, next, we've got these vintage pink glasses, cosmetic perfume bottles, containers, holders. Put all the keywords in there that I can, just shoved them all in there. I accept an offer of 16 quid for these because they'd hung around for a while. Didn't really know what to price these at. I just whacked them on at 19.99. Got this nice kind of very, very subtle pink glass to them. And then we've got these, I think it's enamel on the top there. I should have put that in the title actually because it's kind of like a, I don't know actually, is it an enamel or is it, hmm, I'm not sure. It might be a pink enamel or something, but 
Anyway, nice little nice little bottles these and they're going to add to someone's collection or maybe they're going to use them, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm sure they will enjoy them. So 16 quid plus my postage on those. Again, not a lot, probably a quid or two each in an auction job lot, so possibly three or four quid cost to me uh, as a maximum again. So yeah, pretty happy with those, nice little sale there. Um, next we've got this vintage green Wedgwood Majolica. Now I put cabbage leaf plate. I actually got a message off someone just before they sold, not long before they sold, saying that they don't think it is a cabbage leaf plate, plate. it's a uh, a different style, but you know, most of these you can kind of branch them in a wider domain of just cabbage leaf plates, and generally I'll just put cabbage leaf plate in the title, it gets, a, it gets obviously a little bit of a wider search out there, but I do believe from that message that they sent me that there is kind of... A, a different name for this pattern, um, ju not just cabbage leaf plate, but something else. So yeah, uh, I needed to put that in the title, but I didn't, um, and then it ended up selling, and uh, yeah, I got twenty four ninety nine plus my postage for it. Still a great price there. I believe these are Victorian actually, or some of these Majolica Wedgwood plates are Victorian. So I don't know whether this one is, but. Um, it could be. I'm pretty sure I saw on Complete and Sold some of these were people were putting Victorian in the title and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, 24 and 9 plus postage. Again, a couple of quid, two, three quid, something like that from an auction job. Like, I remember the job that I got this in actually. It was, there was loads of other Majolica plates and stuff in there, Wedgwood plates and stuff. Um, so, yeah, two or three quid, something like that. Um, and 24.99 sale price. Again, really, really happy with that. Lovely profit. Uh, on to the next one. So next we've got this a Vintage Royal Exchange Assurance uh, Small Round. Now I put Ashtray. I don't know whether it was an Ashtray. I suppose it could have been. Um, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? But it, I don't, I'm not 100% sure really. It probably was. That's probably the best kind of description for it. But it's only this small little thing here anyway. Um, and I got four, no, I got um, 12 99 did I got for this. Maybe twelve, maybe twelve ninety nine. I think I accepted an offer. I can't remember, but it was twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. If I accepted the offer, it was twelve ninety nine plus my postage. But I was happy to do that. Again, not a lot. Probably a quid for this in in a silver plate job. Like if I expressed it as an individual cost, it's only a small little item in there. Basically, a, a kind of a bonus to the job lot. So yeah, probably about a quid for that one. Twelve ninety nine. More than happy with that. Uh, obviously plus my £3.49 postage, so can't go wrong there, nice little item. Next we've got this set of six Royal Worcester Evesium, 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 doesn't sound like that, Evesium. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm terrible today for pronouncing stuff, I'm getting loads of things wrong, but I guess that's right, Evesium, but it sounds, it just sounds the way I'm saying it a little bit off. Anyway, chocolate pot, pot de creme, Pot de creme, lidded cups. 21 quid plus my postage on bids on auction. I saw that these were going okay on auction. I thought, you know what, let's just get them gone on auction. I got this in a load of glassware, like a, it's a little job lot of um, Stuart Crystal glassware and stuff. I've actually got a um, really lovely, it's kind of got a twisted design, um, not a handle, but a stem. Twisted design stem inside the stem. Really lovely Stuart Crystal one. Limited edition of 500 or 750 or something in its box. And I've got it on for like 70 quid or something out of the same job lot. And uh, yeah, there's, there was a few other bits and bobs in the job lot as well. So yeah, really, really happy. Um, so basically, after, I don't know what the job lot cost me. I think it was probably around 20 quid plus commission, maybe 25 quid plus commission. I don't know whether I've sold anything else out of it yet, so this just goes towards paying for the job lot, really. Um, but yeah, 21 quid plus my postage there. If I put it on buy it now, possibly if I waited a little while, I could have got 30 quid. But I was happy just to get some cash flowing from some of these job lots. And 21 quid plus my postage, I'm more than happy with that. So yeah, nice little item, these. If you see them, definitely pick them up. You know, if uh, three, four, five quid in a charity shop, may as well whack them up. Uh, you know, pick them up and then maybe put them on buy it now if you want, just to get a bit extra out of them. But yeah, that's that one there. Next, the next two sales are... Oh, actually, did I? No, I didn't. 
I didn't actually uh, put up the other one, but this person bought two of these. She bought, uh, well, I say she, I don't know if it was a she actually, but they bought this one, Goldust and Kingston, and then they bought another one, Rey Mysterio and some other guy, both brand new and sealed, both for $12.99 plus the postage. Um, so yeah, there was actually two sales here, but I've, I forgot to pull the other one up. But these are just these West, uh, WWE Rumblers, uh, Mattel, Goldust and Coffee Kingston, um, new and sealed little these little packs these owe me absolutely nothing uh, as I've said in the past quite a few times my dad's friend was doing a car boot um, he had a load of old stock because he used to sell on eBay um, and basically he gave me the lot for free and I, I you know I've, I've said this story numerous times so to the people who've heard it would be like oh god not this again but basically he uh, I, I, I you know I, I offered him some money I actually sent my dad in with an envelope of money and he refused the money so I was really you know I was happy that I got these for free and I was very grateful to him for that and literally my dad's car the foot, back seat of his car was full of stuff um, and this was all for free and it was all brand new and sealed stuff so yeah again absolutely brilliant uh, basically 30 quid here from from nothing so we're really really thankful for that and uh, yeah nice little sales there so that's those next we've got another one of the maps from the map job lot that i talked about so again just a, a 9.95 job this one it seems that these ones i think these are from the early part of the 20th century 1920s possibly a little bit later maybe 1930s um but a lot of these ones with the red on them and you also get the, these with the blue on them so the same design but blue um you know these are nice ones to look out for i mean most of them aren't going to be loads of money but you probably get a tenner out of them maybe a little bit more so yeah nice little ordinance survey maps i've never really sold maps never really done anything with them so it's nice to actually just kind of expand a little bit and do something a little bit different you know what i'm like i can't stay still for long i like to have different things even if it's within antiques and collectibles that's why i think i love antiques and collectibles so much because there's always new things to explore uh yeah okay some of the bread and butter stuff is quite similar but there's always some bits and bobs new to explore so yeah ordinance survey map there 10 quid so again that possibly pays for the job lot now or comes very close to paying for that job lot and all the other maps i've got will be pure profit after posting and fees so that's nice to to know uh, next we've got this vintage southwest view of lincoln framed engraving now this was from the engravings job lot now this was the one that had broken glass in it and i decided to separate this out and sell it singularly uh, singularly um and uh, yeah this southwest blue of lincoln i think this was the one Oh no, this wasn't the one. No, I'm telling a word of a lie. The one that had glass in, I did separate that out, but it isn't this one. It's from the same job lot, but it isn't this one. This is a smaller one that, that just didn't have any glass in it anyway. I don't think there's glass in it, is there? Or possibly there is. Maybe there is glass in it. Well, I can't tell from there anyway. But anyway, same job lot. Pure profit after posting your fees. 1999 plus my postage on this one. Can't complain at that. Yeah, you know, it took a few months to sell, but with these things, sometimes it, it is like that with certain things like this. So, yeah, pure price to post, posting fees. Can't complain with that one. Nice little sale there. Next, we've got this vintage B&W silver plate round serving dish with glass inner. These are really nice. Now, some of these are really, really good to look out for. Obviously, it depends on the makers and all the rest of it and the quality of the pieces. Uh, this one seemed pretty decent. Uh, you know, it was well made. Um by what I would assume is a half decent makers it's got this nice little inner separation part as well now that little inner separation part kind of looks like a I don't know sort of like a triangle type thing there you can pull that out um, and yeah really really lovely £30.59 I'm guessing I had that up at £34.99 or something or £32.99 and then for whatever reason in re reductions it's come down to a random price of £30.59 plus my postage on that and yeah, just a, there you see the separator comes out there, actually. So yeah, really nice looking item. Um, I don't know what this would have cost me. Possibly this would have come in a bit more of a higher-end silver plate job lot. So it might have owed me four or five quid opposed to just the, the two or three quid of something else. But that is going super high at four or five quid as an individual cost. So it would have owed me no more than that. Possibly it would have been less than that. Um, but yeah, so £30.59. Happy with that, uh, really nice item. It did take a while to sell though, so sometimes 
some silver player items can go pretty quick, but then others can can take a while. So that's that one. Next, we've got Vintage Viner Sheffield. This is a six uh, compartment. Uh, it's like a six cart compartmented glass tray, and it's like twin handled here. Rather nice, you know, nothing incredibly impressive, but it, it's nice for what it is. Um, and obviously, with it being Viner's, just gives it a little bit of an edge. You know, people like to to buy Viner's. Obviously, it's quite a, a respected make. So we've got. Um, yeah, twenty nine ninety nine plus my postage on that, so can't complain with that one. Again, it met, this one may have actually came in the same job lot as that other one we just saw. I can't remember exactly, but it may have done. Um, and yeah, this one will, again, similar cost, possibly that four or five pound at maximum as an individual cost. Probably a little bit less than that, but it, it's around that anyway. So yeah, twenty nine ninety nine on that one. Next, now, I wanted to talk about this because uh, Wedgwood Jasperware. Don't know whether anyone else who sells antiques and collectibles have noticed this more recently. I don't know, the past six months or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. Maybe the past three or six months I've been noticing it a little bit more. But it seems that the auctions, Jasperware is starting to go for a little bit more money again. Now normally Jasperware, or for a while, it's been kind of really down, like not really many people care about it and stuff, except for maybe the really nice pieces. Um, but... In my local auction house, which is sadly now closed, of course, from this going into administration. But before it closed, we were doing these big job lots of Jasperware. And we were getting really good money for them. Like, we were getting really, for what I considered, pretty good money for them. And, uh, obviously, I've done this here. Now, this one is quite a nice one, because you've got these nice little rounded sort of buttons or plaques or whatever you want to call them here, ceramic ones. And they are in that black design, and that's quite a nice design. But obviously this got 16 quid plus postage just on auction. I didn't really know what to price it at. I just wanted to do it on auction. And uh, maybe if I did it by now I would have got a bit more. But yeah, it, it seems that maybe Jasperware possibly is having a slight little bit of resurgence. I don't know. Maybe it's coming back in a little bit. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I don't know. So it was, it was quite... You know, I didn't know whether I'd get 16 quid for this, to be honest. I put it on at 9.95 plus postage as my starting bid. And I was happy just to get that because it wouldn't have owed me a lot again in, as an individual cost. So, yeah, you know, I thought, oh, well, it might be picking up a bit. I don't know. But, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, nice little item there. Nice little sale. Next, we've got this uh, the Yes No game. I picked this up in a, uh, in a charity shop. For, was it a charity shop? Yeah, it was a charity shop for a quid. And I thought, you know what, I don't know whether I'm going to get a tenner out of this. Maybe it was not worth me picking it up. Because as you know, I don't like to do anything below a tenner anymore. Um, or I haven't done for quite a while now. Probably about 18 months, two years, something like that. Um, and yeah, 9 95 on this one. Um, so from a quid into a tenner, again, happy with that. Obviously, this will go small parcel, so it'll be the 2 90 So that will eat into my profit a little bit. But still, I'm happy with that, you know, from a quid, didn't take very long to go, didn't take much time to pack up or anything like that, nice little easy item, just shove in one of those little boxes, and uh, and yeah, so so that was off, so nice little sale there, and if you can pick it up new and sealed for 50p, you know, preferably 50p, possibly a quid like I paid, don't pick it up if it's like two or three quid, there's just not no point in it, the, the margin would be pitiful, literally you'd be getting like, what, two pound profit on it or something after fees and all the rest of it, so yeah, uh, with that being said, uh, nice little item there, and uh, yeah, if you see it for 50p or something, go for it. Next, we've got this BBC Life on Mars Series 2 DVD box that I picked this up for £2. As you can see here, it's sealed, however the seal has a break to one side, you can probably see it here, it's quite a um, a large break actually there, so obviously hence I listed it as like new, because I didn't, you know, I, I like making sure that I'm uh, specifying the condition correctly. Obviously, new eBay states is an undamaged item. Uh, it's an, you know, it's a sealed item. It's brand new in its packaging. It's undamaged. So, hence, I listed it as like new. Um, so yeah, sealed. However, one break to seal. Fourteen ninety nine for that. As I say, I paid two quid for it. I didn't really sacrifice much on price, to be honest. Mainly, even new and sealed without the whips and tears in the seal, they go for around that price. So I didn't really lose out on price or anything. Um, so yeah, fourteen ninety nine two from two pound. Nice little profit on that. Nice little sale. So yeah, can't complain with that one. And then finally, we've got this vintage large carved wooden Indian three-legged floral design. 
uh, table and you saw in or you may have done I did a Thursday talks episode where I was doing a little bit of a haul and I showed these in the video so yeah $29.99 I did say I, I think I said in the haul video that I was potentially looking at around 30 quid for, for some of these uh, tables and that's what I got to be honest I doubted myself for a little bit because I after that episode I had a look on completing solds and I saw that actually some of these tables were going for like 15 20 quid and I thought oh god have I gone way too high have I and maybe have I even said to people on Thursday talks a little bit of um, not factual information but as you can see here we've got the facts right in front of you you can see that you can get 30 quid for some of these tables so don't be put off by those lower buy it now and auction sales uh, you can attain a better value for these um, so yeah 29.99 plus uh, Hermes shipping of 6.49 so yeah can't complain with that one and I'm glad that I didn't reduce the price I kept it where it was I didn't doubt myself on that or I did doubt myself a little bit but I didn't doubt myself so much to actually reduce the price and uh, and yeah I'm glad because because that I would have shot myself in the foot if I reduced it by a ten or something because I could have got that so yeah with that being said I'll leave it there for this uh, rather bumper sales update I don't think it's been too long of what well, I say that it might have been half an hour I don't know but um I don't, it doesn't feel like that long anyway um, but I hope you enjoyed that anyway if you did like it then please do leave a like on it if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this as well as haul videos uh, random eBay chats and all the rest of it and uh, yeah I will see you in the next one so I will see you very soon guys I'll give you what I got The alcohol of that is flowing wild So grab yourself a can of mine